the designer and owner of uh, Zola Jones Designs, handcrafted handbags, uh, handcrafted here in Chicago, and sold at my store, which is where we are now. Mm -hmm. It is the ultimate Zola Jones bag, created with a recycled seat belt, which I recycle from um, junked cars. Um, all of my bags are all about pockets. There's a lot of pockets in them, inside and out. And other than the seatbelt, they are constructed of um, upholstery fabric. So the fabric is really all... I kind of base the design of the bag around the fabric. It's mm -hmm. all about the uh, pattern of the fabric and the texture of the fabric. How did you get into this business? I started off with an English background, studying English in college. Um, tried writing for a while, but I've always had a strong interest in fashion, and I've always carried bags of my own. Um, I had thought about going back to school to study fashion, and in the meantime was making a lot of my own bags for friends, and just on the advice of a couple of friends, I just started selling my bags in boutiques and through art shows, and it's really all kind of snowballed from that. Start making these bags? About five years ago. Okay. When I really dived into making a lot of bags. Um, before that, I was making you know one or two, giving them as gifts to friends, um, and then yeah, it was about five years ago, I really jumped in and just thought, this is it. Mm. I can make these all the time now. <laughs> it's it's your passion. It is. It's absolutely my passion. Um, it's unfortunate I didn't realize that sooner in life that this would you know. It, the sewing would be my passion. I enjoyed sewing as a kid. I enjoyed home ec a lot. Um, but I grew up in a very rural area of Ohio, and uh, there weren't a lot of uh, opportunities. Ready. All right, I'm going to take you through the process of making the clutch that I make. So first aspect is sewing the top seam of the pocket. And then I sew the pocket into what will be the lining piece. And as you can see, I've already sewn the three pieces that create the outside of the clutch together, and then top stitch them as well. Mm -hmm. So find the placement on the bag where the pocket will need to be. So roughly there. I'll pin it. back into the machine and stitch it. And I give the pocket section, so I'll do two lines of the pocket here to section it off. What, what do you get from the creative process from making things? I think I get a great sense of self. I think um, yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, I think my creativity gives me a great sense of myself and gives me a great identity. You know, I, I identify as a creative person. I, whenever I look at things, I, I usually don't see them as what they are. I see all the things that went into them to make them what they are. Mm -hmm. And so um, I guess um, creativity also kind of explains my analytical self, you know, because I, I analyze things and how they're put together. And, and it's because I'm creative that I do that, I think. Um, where did the name come from, Zola Jones? Zola Jones is the name of my cat. Um, she's a, um, a little black, you know, I had a photo of her somewhere. She's a, a little black cat that uh, meows all the time. And her name was Wilma when we adopted her. But I knew immediately, well, she's not a Wilma. She's a Zola Jones. So. And beyond it being the name of the cat, it also just kind of um, epitomizes my, my, um, my feeling of the kind of person who would carry my bag, who is someone who's very independent and um, strong-willed and strong-minded on their own. So that's kind of why I took the name of the cat and gave it to my business, because the cat's very independent and strong-willed on her, on her own right. Um, and so that felt very true of the kind of customer I, I saw purchasing my bags. Mm -hmm.